Well, the world situation is in, in, not in the best shape right now. I, I think we have major problems in every aspect of our human activities. In the economy is going down the drain. Uh, there is a, a major rift between different parts of the world. We have a number of wars going on. The humanitarian uh, situation in many places like Darfur, like uh, Gaza, is is a blot on our conscience. Uh, and I think we are here to, to pick up the pieces. I, we, I have a lot of hope that with the Obama administration that things will change. We know we have the financial crisis and we need to do a lot to fix the financial crisis, but a lot of what we can do in the political arena does not require money, reaching out to each other, engaging in a, in a dialogue, uh, build a system that uh, that is rooted in equity, where I cannot see how we are ever going to have security where we have one third of the world population live on less than two dollars a day. Uh, we have pla places like Darfur and where people are dying by the hundreds every day and we continue to wring our hands. So we need to strengthen our financial, our international institutions. We need to have a robust uh, system to prevent conflict, to, to manage conflict. Uh, we need to deal with this whole nuclear threat ranging from moving toward nuclear disarmament for the weapon state to create the environment that uh, uh, that nuclear weapon does not bring power and prestige and influence, but we need a system of security that does not depend on nuclear weapons. Uh, we need to deal with a specific concern, North Korea, Iran. We need to multinationalize the fuel cycle so no one country has the technology to develop nuclear weapon on a short span of time. And of course, we need to address the most serious concern of all, which is nuclear terrorism, the possibilities that uh, uh, extremist groups will get their hand on nuclear weapons. If they do that, they will obviously use it and a good part of our civilization would be lost. So the lo there's a lot of challenge, but there are also a lot of opportunities. It's all a question of our mindset, our the kind of values we would like to live by. And as I keep mentioning here in, at Davos, for the first time, I have hope. Uh, that we are in a position to establish a saner, a safer, a more humane world uh, with a new administration, a, a system that is based on inclusiveness that, that, uh, and not exclusiveness, a, a system that is based on talking to our enemies before we talk to our friends and respect each other simply as human beings, irrespective of our ethnicity or religion or, or color. Uh, so, uh, it is a new beginning and uh, every one of us has a responsibility and every one of us has to do what they can in their own sphere of activity to create finally a world when we all believe that we are one part of a one human family and if we want to succeed, we are going to succeed together and if not, we are also going to fail together.